entertainment capitals of the world. I mean, the atmosphere is one of a kind. I love being on the stage. I love being on the scene. Where better than Las Vegas to make your dreams come true, right? Many people come to Las Vegas to make their dreams come true. My dream is happening right now. We've had a long training camp, a hard training camp. This camp was far greater than the Jose Cito Lopez camp. So this fight, we're well prepared, and my confidence is going to be sky high. You know, you're fighting a legend, so I'm just looking forward to performing, talking just a little bit more smack to Manny Pacquiao. If you can beat me, beat me. We're going to be there in the ring. You're going to be throwing hands at me. I'm going to be throwing hands at you. And if I was to knock Manny Pacquiao out, which we are trying to do, you know, that's another part of history, really solidifying myself in the history books. This is just a big moment. We're going to get tons of exposure leading up to this fight. A lot of people are going to be tuning in. And Saturday night is just another moment. Put up a shut up time, right? Two days before the fight, 11, 21 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, July the 18th, 2019. One day, 21 hours and 31 minutes away from the fight. I'm Tishtree Controversy. This is Tishtree Controversy Live. We cover every single major fight live. I had a little bit of a hiccup, but nonetheless, we got a very, very busy weekend. So, I will be the only channel on YouTube to provide you with post-fight highlights the post-fight interviews, and a full post-fight show here and on my other channel, T-Street Uncut. I'm trying to get the numbers up on that channel so I can get it monetized. So, let's talk about the fight, man. I gotta be honest with you. I'm doing this video live and uncut. I gotta be honest with you. My heart is seeing Manny Pacquiao, but I'm scared. I'm scared because I'm not confident in that pick. I think that Keith Thurman is, is going to do something to him. He's going to do something real nasty to him, I think. You know? Listen, Manny Pacquiao been talking about it. We, listen. Ugh. He's 40. And I understand he's not a regular 40. I understand. And, 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 and y'all don't have to bring that, that shit here. Talking about, well, you don't know boxing. I cover more boxing than you ever will in your life. In 14 lives. And if you're a cat, nine lives. I, I, I cover them. It's a 50-50 fight because of skill. I'm not going to say because of Manny Pacquiao's age anymore. And, 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 and on fight night... I'm going to be here, and I'm not going to be making up no damn excuses. You sickin' me! You know? Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of comments throughout the years. I've been covering these many pac man packing out fights. Jumping over fucking Las Vegas fucking fences getting kicked out the MGM Grand going into comas and shit getting demonetized Keith Thurman ain't no joke however he ain't never seen nobody like Pacquiao just like Pacquiao since Floyd Mayweather you I, I don't I'm sorry I love Timothy Bradley to death I am very deeply upset that I'm not going to be able to meet Timothy Bradley tomorrow because my I got my truck painted. That's why that that's why my piss is 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 in a boil right now. I got my truck resprayed via insurance, but they fucked something fucked up my lights. I'm not gonna say I'm, something fucked up. I don't got no rear lights or no turning signals, so I can't go out nowhere. Anyway, fight night. I'm gonna be here. Let's talk about the card. All right, uh, fight camp episode four premiered earlier today. Yesterday was the uh, final press conference. Finally got that video cleared. So if you want to see the final press conference, it's on my T-Street. You know what they did? You know what pisses me off? No, 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 no. I am happy. Very, very blessed to be in this situation of covering fights. So let me stop bitching. 
all right i'm just saying i chopped the video up yesterday um um to release the the content that was blocked i'm talking some nerd shit is probably over your head I, I i chopped the video up and then they released it like oh yeah this is cool you can you know so it's like but anyway covered the uh post fight press covered the press conference the final press conference yesterday wasn't really you know fight camp episode four is like HBO 24-7 or Showtime All Access to those who haven't seen one before. There's been four episodes each week up until the last episode was today. And, you know, the fight is two days from now. So there was one each Sunday before then, along with a PBC countdown show and a PBC face-to-face, -face, which is like Max. You know, the reason why I'm saying this, and eventually I'm going to stop saying it because it's disrespect the Fox. And it's disrespected PBC. But a lot of people haven't been able to see this content globally because it hasn't been released anywhere but inside of the United States or wherever Fox is available here. Because a lot of people of the Philippines were like, yo, where's this PBC face-to-face? -face? Where are these PBC Fight Camp episodes? And I'm thinking like, well, wait a minute. Why didn't they put this shit on their YouTube page? But whatever, hey, that's not my problem. My job is to review it talk about what's been happening and how it usually goes is in this case it was four episodes so the first episode always usually focuses on introducing the fighters usually you know what the fighters been doing recapping their last fight second episode you get to like you know get to know like their personal lives family shit like that but remember it's called fight camp so you know you're seeing you know them in, in in training camp up until this point and you can actually see the progression of weight loss up until fight week from the first episode you know when they had the first um um for keith thurman when they had the first um uh, press conference so this final episode is all the way up until the press conference yesterday nothing after the press conference but after the grand arrivals which happened on tuesday by the way we got a podcast coming and a weekly show i've been working my ass off to get it done but you know what you know i don't quit i don't quit and i'm, I'm, I'm closer than ever shit's been really moving around here man and remember, this weekend's going to be lit. Of course, I'm going to be covering here live for you guys the entire card I'm going to be giving to you. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you good, too. I'm going to be covering PBC on Fox starting at 7 p.m. F.A. Jago versus Ali Aaron Demi Resin. Here, let's go look at the card. I'm going to be covering Caleb Plant versus Subway Mike Lee. I watched that press conference earlier on Fox Sports 1. I'm going to do a video for you probably after this. I'm going to cover Sergey Lempinets versus John Molina Jr. Because you never know what John Molina is going to show up. I'm going to cover Luis Neri versus Juan Carlos Piano. I still think his soul, I forgot who said it yesterday too. I still think his soul is somewhere over in Japan. Or wherever the last World Boxing Super Series fight was he was involved in. I'm going to cover your Dennis Ugas versus Omar Figueroa. Keith Thurman versus Manny Pacman Pacquiao. And then to really tickle your fancies over on the zone. I'm going to be covering David Allen versus David Price. Of course, Lewis, Lewis um, fucking Lawrence O'Callaghan, the South versus, I forgot the guy he's fighting, Derek Jasor versus Arthur Spielke, and Dylan White versus Oscar Rivas. Busy day on Saturday, and then to close the night off over on T Street Uncut, the link is right down below in the description box. We're going to be giving you a live post fight show. And if you're going to be on YouTube on Saturday night, you ain't going to have no choice but to see my face because I can, you know what? I'm not going to go into a rant. We're going to take a little bit of a break, or it's going to be a break for me, a jump cut, you know, and I'm going to play you another clip. And we're going to talk about some strategy. Actually, I want to wait until the weigh-in. We're going to be doing a live stream for the weigh-in. Also, I'm streaming a fight card. Oh, man, I forgot to tell you. I'm streaming a fight card. On T Street Uncut as well. The Ultimate Boxer 4. It's a one night tournament starting at 1 p.m. All the way until about, no, 2 p.m. All the way until about 6 p.m. or so. And then like, ah, oh, I was supposed to go to the ESPN card. I was going to say I got to leave out to go to the ESPN card. But I don't know if my lights are going to be fixed. I can't get my truck back into the uh, shop until Monday. And he sent me an email saying not Monday, like Tuesday. But I didn't read it. I'm just going to just show up. Yeah, so jump cut. This is T-Street Controversy with FightView360.com.
please subscribe. Manny Pacquiao can look superhuman with a pair of gloves on his hands. At the age of 40, he takes pride in still thriving as a cyclone of speed and being as dedicated as ever to the craft that long ago transformed his life. They think that I'm old. I'm not feeling like 40. I just want to prove to them that age doesn't matter. Let's say who's better in the ring. Keith Thurman sees his opponent and envisions an opportunity to write the Filipino's final chapter himself. Game over. To end one of boxing's great modern sagas, painfully and decisively. I'm coming for Manny Pacquiao. He does, he does not belong at the top of the, the walkway division. division. You know, he's got a lot he's got to answer for. So, who's buying a pay-per-view? Come on. I bet not see none of you scumbag streaming, man. Unless you're like living in like super, super poverty and you really, really don't got the money. Don't go into debt. Make sure you pay a bill. If you don't make no bill, but I'm saying you should though. But come on. And especially since this is the best PBC pay-per-view undercard I've seen since they had um, uh, Danny Garcia versus Lucas Matisse. No bullshit. Like, when the last time they had an undercard like this good anywhere outside of the zone, undercard, zone, undercards, B, 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 I. But I'm talking about the PBC. They really, really doing it big with this one, you know? Especially when you look at the fact that, right? And I understand this is going to go over a lot of the casuals' heads because when Manny Pacquiao fights, a lot of casuals, you know, just, just come out the cracks in the woodworks. But your Dennis Ugas versus Omar Figueroa, it's his own fight, or it can be its own card. Luis Neri versus Juan Carlos Piano. That's definitely some PBC on FS1 type type deal right there. Sergey Limpignets with the way Showtime been doing. I wouldn't be surprised if they made Sergey Limpignets versus John Molina main event. Or that could have led a PBC on FS1. PBC on Fox has a, has a higher standard. But I wouldn't be surprised if they would have did this. F.A. Jog with PBC on FS1. Kayla Plant is already headlined. This is PBC on Fox Sports uh, right here. So these are all, you know, headliners, you know, stepping the game up. They have. So, weigh-ins tomorrow. I'm wondering, see, Pacquiao still got the, see, he's not as fast, obviously, as he used to be. But still, he is in the top three fastest welterweights, is he not? Now, let's look at him, right? He's faster than Danny Garcia. He's faster than Jesse Vargas. Now, these are all in my opinion. Am I entitled to my opinion in America? In America? Now, let's just do some crude analysis right here, right? He's faster than Sean Porter, faster than Danny Garcia, faster than Jesse Vargas. Hand speed, we're talking. Sergey Limpignets, Mikey Garcia, in my opinion. You know, he's faster than Mikey Garcia, in my opinion. Like blistering hand speed we're talking? What are you talking? You know, it's all about the intangibles. Pacquiao's about five foot five. He's gonna have to get in on the inside and he's gotta be careful not to get overzealous because a guy with a high ring IQ, boxing IQ is Keith Thurman, is gonna be waiting for the counter punch. But however, he don't want to, you know, he has never fought somebody that's going to overwhelm him like Manny Pacquiao is going to overwhelm him. Or at least try to. Now, you would think that being knocked out the way Manny Pacquiao was knocked out, put the sleep, laying on his little gloves. Remember that hand that was like in the, in, in the photo, that iconic, them hands? Like they wanted to grab Pacquiao, but they knew it wasn't right. They would have fucking would've been tampering. But intangible see you can't deny the veteran experience you can't deny that it's a 50 50 fight but you know what because he is the many many he's the many pacquiao i can't bet against him the keith the the i was gonna say keith the, the jeff horn fight he didn't train for i don't think he trained for that I just think he did enough just to get in shape, you know, to be able to move around. But I don't think he really, you know. And then he broke Jeff Horn's face for the most part. He damn near lost his eyes, somebody said. 
Sean Porter versus Errol Spence, they're supposed to fight September the 28th, according to the um, Athletic Box. I got to listen to their podcast. They're about to charge me their $60 soon, too. But they can get it. You know, I'm not going to be, you know, I use your shit. But better believe I'm going to be fucking using they fucking articles in my videos. Like, look, I got this shit from fucking here. I read this shit on here. Shit. <clears throat> but we're going to see y'all. Well, actually, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. So remember, on T-Street Uncut, the link right down below in the description box. Remember... I got a lot of Pat Thurman videos coming for you, especially as we, you know, get into fight night and then what's going to happen after, because you know it's going to be world news. You know, if Pacquiao knocks out Keith Thurman, if he defeats Keith Thurman, you know, Pacquiao, was, he's, he's, you know, uh, it's going to be all over everywhere. You know, but if he loses, it's going to be number one trending world news. So it's a win-win situation for all parties involved, really. We just got to hope Pacquiao don't get knocked out and get sent off that way, you know, because if he was to win, in my opinion, he would fight Danny Garcia, or Mikey Garcia. Those two are in some talks to fight, but they got to find a pay-per-view date for it when you have, you know, an oversaturation of pay-per-views here when you have Sean Porter versus Errol Spence that's supposed to take place at the end of September. You might as well say October. And then... In November, you're supposed to have uh, Wilder versus Loser Tease, two on pay-per-view. And you have to wonder, where are they going to squeeze Danny Garcia versus Mikey Garcia? Because they don't like to have pay-per-views within that same billing cycle on that same bill from one. They don't, they don't like to do that to fans. You know, thank God, right? But in this case, Mike, these guys don't... Mikey Garcia... You know, don't want to fight on free TV. It's, I mean, the money, the money, the money. It's just money. That's not this video. I'm going to rate this episode a 7 out of 10, you know, because the production quality was still good, but I already knew what to expect from an episode at this point, especially when it's fight week, the day before the weigh-in. I expected a little bit more creativity because it's the same formula that HBO 24-7 followed and Showtime All Lexus. you know. So... I'm T Street Content for. I don't know if there's going to be an epilogue episode or one after the fight. I'm going to check for you. And I'm going to have that information before the, um, when I do the weigh in tomorrow. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. I got to get to this Toriano Johnson versus Jason Quigley fight. Please subscribe.